Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina display and it has an intermittent problem with the keyboard and trackpad where the keyboard and trackpad stop working. Fortunately, I've got this other USB keyboard which I've been able to use. It's got the USB stick that plugs in the side of the USB port of the MacBook Pro. I've been able to use that keyboard when this failure has occurred. Now I've previously tried to fix this uh, by reseeding the connector. You can see that in the previous video, but that's a fail from my perspective. Um, and I've explained that in that other video. So today we're going to replace the ribbon cable that goes to the trackpad and the keyboard, and that's gonna solve this problem. So the issue with this laptop is you can power it on. So clearly the keyboard's actually working. And in fact, you can get into the uh, Apple boot menu by hitting the shift key. But when it actually boots into Mac OS, the keyboard and the trackpad drops. Now, interestingly, when I inquired with Apple to have this MacBook Pro repaired properly, they insisted that it needed a new keyboard completely. And they quoted $400 to repair the MacBook Pro. Well, this cable that I'm replacing today was literally nine or $10 from Amazon. Now I'll put a link in the description below, but you make the decision. I would say that a 2015 MacBook Pro is probably only worth three or $400 anyway. So in my mind, it's certainly worthwhile attempting this repair yourself. I don't really don't think you've got uh, much to lose. So let's give it a go. So we are going to start by removing the back cover of the MacBook Pro. However, before you do anything with the laptop, make sure you back up your data. So to remove the back cover, you need a Pentelope TS5 1.2 millimeter driver. It's the one with the rounded corners. Now, another trick, as we take the screws out, make sure you put them down in order so that you can put the screws back into the exactly the same hole that they came off, just because some of the screws have a different depth. So with all of the screws out, we simply pull the cover off with our fingers. So with the power off, the first thing that you need to do is disconnect the power to the battery connector, so as to make sure that you don't do any damage to the circuitry. Now this cable here is the faulty cable that connects the trackpad to the motherboard. So the next thing to do is to unscrew the little bracket that holds the trackpad cable in position. Now this requires a Torx T5 screwdriver. So with the bracket out of the way, you then have to remove that ribbon cable. So you start by prying up the connector and then lifting the cable up along the whole length. You'll find it's glued down. However, it does lift up relatively easily with some gentle persuasion. So then moving to the other end of the cable, there's a little flap on the OEM cable which first needs to be lifted up. And then it's just a matter of wiggling the cable out gently from the socket. So with the old cable out, it's now just a matter of reinstalling the new cable. Now the best way to do this is the reverse procedure of the way we just took it out. So we start at the bottom, sliding that bottom connector in, and then we attach the top connector. Now, you will notice that the new cable does appear to be longer than it needs to be, and there are adhesive strips which you can remove to stick it down. Given that the problem with the original does appear to me to be with the connector in the middle of the laptop, I am going to deliberately not stick my cable down. I figured that this will result in less additional pressure on the connector and the cable itself will just rest on the case, causing no issues in my mind. This is what I am going to do, but it's up to you what you want to do. So it's then just a matter of reinstalling the bracket over the trackpad connector. So with the new cable installed, it's then just a matter of reconnecting the power connector to the battery and then reinstalling the back case of the MacBook Pro. Remember, when installing the back case of the MacBook Pro, you need to install the screws in the same locations that they came out. And we are done. Now that we have the new trackpad cable installed, we can now test the MacBook to see if we have fixed the issue. As you can see, we have been successful today. 
So there you go, folks. That's how to repair your 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina. So for nine or $10 from Amazon, we've fixed it ourselves instead of paying $400 to Apple. If you've liked this video, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.